What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Kodak Black back in a click today, you guys. Just with a little update that he was just released on Bond. And hopefully, while he's out, they can kind of figure out with his legal team what they can do to try to beat this case. He most definitely had his head down the whole time. I'm pretty sure he was a little embarrassed that this is happening to him all over again. But we just going to send our prayers to him and definitely pray that he could definitely get it together. Because we are most definitely losing our black men to the system. And it's it's crazy how it's happening so fast, so quick before our eyes. That is all I got for the Kodak Black update. But you guys, let's move straight on to Chris Brown. Back in the click today, you guys. And it seems like Chris Brown may be running into some legal, allegedly running into some legal issues. Now, Gossip of the City team managed to receive a press release video of a woman stating that Chris Brown owes them a million dollars because he was supposedly supposed to perform to help raise money and he never showed. Y'all take a look. Release. It has all of the pertinent details concerning why we are here. My name is Tiffany Parker with Tiffany Parker PR, and we are here on behalf of Mrs. Bailey, who has a claim that she is bringing against Chris Brown, worldwide entertainer and artist, concerning a canceled show right here in Houston. It was scheduled to help benefit victims of the disasters that took place here in Texas, Louisiana, and other places. So I'd like to introduce you to Ms. Bailey so that she might speak more pointedly to you about her situation and the resolve that she seeks to gain. Ms. Bailey. Good afternoon. My name is LaJuan Bailey and I am Vice President and co-owner of DML Real Estate Investors. I sought Chris Brown out to do a benefit concert so that we can raise money for our hurricane relief program that we have. And the reason for that is so that we can raise money for all of the victims that have had hurricane problems that didn't get any help like from Red Cross or Baker Hughes or any of those type of entities and their houses have still been less in shambles, basically. So with the help of our community activist, Sandra Hines, we got together last year and my husband, Brian Smith, so that we can figure out what we needed to do. Hurricane Ida came through and destroyed Louisiana. Then right after that, we had Hurricane Nicholas, where we're actually building homes right now. We had problems there. So I reached out to Chris Brown's camp and ask them, is there any way that you can do a benefit concert for us? They agreed. I sent them their deposit. I sent them a travel buyout, and I sent them their back end several days prior to him coming to Houston. We had a reschedule due to Travis Scott's problem. We had to reschedule because it was normally, um, it was supposed to be November 21st. We rescheduled to March the 19th. Chris Brown's camp, they canceled during our sound check which left me with a lot of hardship, a financial hardship, and it left all the people that were depending on me to have the rehabilitation of their homes without that happening because he has in excess of a million dollars that I spent just to get him here. So uh, my plea right now is to ask Chris and his management or whoever's responsible for that money. We have spoken with the police. They have subpoenaed his records. They found out the wires that we sent and the deposits that we gave him prior to him showing up, that he is a signer on that account. So it's not like he doesn't know that he was supposed to be here. Everyone rallied around me, my people from the city, State Representative Ron Reynolds, because we were trying to do a good thing for our citizens, for Houston and Southeast Texas and our sister state, Louisiana. And we're just asking that he please send us that money back. 
Now, y'all already know I made my reservations, and you know we most definitely going to talk about it. First thing first, I feel like if this situation is true, I do feel like rightfully so, Chris should give that money back. However, did we really need a press conference for you to ask him to give you the million dollars back? I do feel like sometimes things could be handled a lot better than it's presented, because honestly, all of this for what, really? I mean, I guess for other celebrities to step in. I mean, I think the cause is very great. I think the cause is amazing to help other people rebuild their homes I think it's beautiful but I also feel like there's a way that you go about things and the same way you reached out to his camp to have him come and sing your lawyer can reach out to his camp as well to make sure that they can pay back your million dollars I mean Chris Brown is very wealthy I'm not sure why he didn't make it to this this is absolutely ridiculous because I mean this is a great cause I mean he made it to the wireless fest I don't understand what happened I mean there's two sides to every story I'm hoping that they can figure this out and it don't go any further than what it does that is all i really have for click news if you guys are not already subscribed make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we're on a road to 6k i'll see you guys in the next video bye